In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the unboxing and a complete setup of your Brother MFCL 2730DW Compact Laser All in One Multifunction Printer. This printer has a 250 pages paper capacity and it can print up to 3000 pages before replacement of your ink toner. It can copy or scan up to 50 pages using the ADF tray. So let's do the unboxing. So that's our brother printer. Here is the ink toner. That's the manual. Lift the printer. Take the printer out of this packet. Remove the protective tape. Next step is to install the ink toner. Open the front chamber, so push it outside. Ink chamber is here. Take the ink toner out of the plastic packaging. Remove the seal, so just lift it from one side and also take it out. Now take your ink toner, make sure the chip is facing down like this and slide it in. Close this chamber. Plug in the power cable. Switch on the printer, press the power button. Go to the display panel, click yes and you will see the main screen of your printer. Next step is to do the wireless setup. Click on the Wi-Fi, that's the Wi-Fi button. Select setup wizard, click yes. It will display the list of wireless networks. Select your Wi-Fi and press OK. Enter the password using this panel. Printer is connected with the wireless network. Press OK. Click on the home button. You will see the wireless signal is available on the printer display panel. That means your printer is connected to the home or office Wi-Fi network. Next step is to add this printer in a smartphone for wireless printing and scanning. You can also add this printer in your Windows laptop or Macbook. Next step is to load the paper. So slide it out. Adjust the size. You can place the letter size or A4 size paper. You can take out this section and just place the pages here, adjust the size, slide it in. To add this printer in your smartphone, you can use your iPhone or Android phone and download the Brother Mobile Connect app. That's the app here, you can download it from the app store.
In this app, we have to add the printer. So click on the printer icon on the top. Click on the add machine. Select the first option, register your machine. On the next screen, you will see Brother MFCL 2730DW series. Select it. Printer is installed successfully. Click on the complete. It will take you to the Brother website where you can register your printer or you can just go back to your mobile app you will see the printer on the main screen and it displays the wireless signal now we can start using it for printing and scanning for example to print a document select any document you want to print click on the print icon Let's see the print result. So print quality is good. So if you want to print it for the rough work, you can use this printer. For professional print quality, you should be looking for a better printer. Next step is to do the scanning. You can use the ADF tray for scanning or you can also use the scanner bed if you have a passport or ID. Now place the pages you want to scan facing up. Go to the app section, go back to the main screen, click on the scan icon, it displays all the options you want, it displays everything here, click on the scan. Scan is transferred and both pages are available here. If you click on the done, on the next page it will display both pages and you can save it or you can share it. So that's the way we can do the scanning with this printer. Next step is to do the copy. It's very easy to do the copy with this printer. If you have multiple pages to copy, you can place them here. Go to the printer display panel, click on the copy icon, select how many copies you want to do and once you are ready click on the start. Let's see the copy result. So you can see it has printed it in a good quality. So that's the copy, print and scan. In the last I'm going to show you how to copy an ID with this printer. Now the first step is to open the top lid. Place the ID card facing down on the corner. On the main screen of the printer click on the copy icon. And you will see there is a 2 in 1 ID copy option. Select it and click on the start. You also have an option to enlarge or reduce the copy size and you can do that. Open the lid. Place the back side of the ID facing down. And click on the continue. Let's see the print result. So we can see it has printed ID on the same side of the page. So that's very good option in this printer. And if you want to use this printer to print a number of IDs, you can just use this option and it will really help a lot. That's the complete setup of this printer. So we just did the unboxing, initial setup, Wi-Fi setup. 
then we added this printer in our smartphone and we did the printing and scanning and in the end I have done the copy ID with this printer overall it's a very good printer for home or office use if you just want to print black and white and you just want normal prints without any professional quality this printer is great for you and if you want to know how to use it with your laptop or macbook you can watch my videos on that thanks for watching